not even going to render a salute. He's got a chip on his shoulder, man. He's right. got a chip on his and shoulder. And standing in the middle of a, 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 a military cemetery. You know, the, the whole point of this oh. thing is to guilt you into, into you know, reverence and awe, right? For, for this cultish freaking human sacrifice. And you can't even render a salute. That's the scariest part, man. It's like, no, I'm here to impose it. Yeah, you'll salute to me. <laughs> uh, it's disgusting. So, Guilty. Yeah, right. Moving on. Okay, now we go. Now we go to the pan up, and then all the headstones. All the others duped into. Right. This guy's like, "Am I in the frame?" <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> the guy. That, yeah. The guy at the uh, <laughs> the groundskeeper. Uh, but uh, moving on to the, the next bullet point, you know, panning up the crane mount shows thousands of headstones, and the dramatic effect is completely cheap and goes to prove the point that these millions of people died as clueless dupes uh, or ravenous psychopaths serving serving an even smaller group of evil and ravenous psychopaths who really don't give a shit about their quote unquote sacrifice. Not to mention, uh, let's see, the, the oh, that human sacrifices for this cause is kind of creepy and cultish. But, uh, you know, what's next? You know, killing privates to appease the gods and stop the drought in California? I mean, it's, it's on that level of just fucking crazy. But uh, totally worth it, right? You know, enjoy that 2.4, uh, you know, $2.40 a gallon at the pump. You know, ultimately, that's what we're, that's, that's the benefit that we're reaping from this. So, uh, anybody got anything on that? Uh, I guess the no? uh, benefit of uh, providing tattoos, I guess, of your uh, <laughs> military bases and uh, haircuts. I know, right? Yeah. And uh, so, moving on. Yeah, they, they showed the flag at half, <laughs> half staff, and most people don't even know that the Title IV flag, or the U.S. flag, is actually a copy. It's a it's an IP violation of the uh, <laughs> the East India Trading Company. Hmm. If you look at the East India yeah, East India Trading Company flag from way back, like 1700s, it's the same thing. So it's like, ah, eh, God, so you can't like even be original. Opium, opium traders? What do you mean? Well, I mean, well, no, East India Trading Company. They're well, involved they did in start the Opium War in China. Yeah. They did. Yeah. They did start that. Oh, okay. Yeah. With the sanction of the British government. Right. 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 So, again, they're, they're not fighting for your freedom. They're fighting for, for corporatist pri privilege. Uh, like, right. It's like total corporatism. Like, mm -hmm. hey, like your government is getting paid to go send all these other people. They've duped into fighting to really fight for this economic reason because, again, uh, we're not post-colonial yet. We're still very much an empire. Oh, yeah, very much. Career builder? I think right. Oh, and, and, yeah, and career builder paid this Marine. To basically emotionally blackmail you. <laughs> so this guy's paying a, taking a paycheck on the graves of the, these fallen sacrificial lambs. It even even adds to the, the fucked up mind fest that this thing is. So we're getting into the captions now. This is our last little bit of it. But uh, let's see. We are the land of the free. Uh, okay, that's a caption. All right. There are there are no most a quote from uh, from Goeth. Uh, none. There are no more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe that they are free. Uh, I don't even have to go into this. Uh, some, you know, 600,000 plus and growing laws and regulations and policies, commands, orders, uh, controlling every facet of human existence. And uh, you need permission from the government to fish and hunt in the world. So you, we are not the land of the free. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's just a, you can compare that as a fact against the, the rhetoric. And uh, I don't think the rhetoric will stand up. So, moving on. Okay, next caption. Because we are the home of the brave. Doesn't take much bravery to sign a piece oh, of paper. Right. Sign your life away. Oh, uh, yeah. Just be told what to do. Take right. orders. Uh, no real opportunity to, I guess, uh, exert your freedom of the individual uh, self-expression. You you really don't have a social life in there. You're just another cog in the machine. <laughs> And again, you know, this is this is the largest nation of self entitled spoiled children the universe has ever known. Like everything is amazing and nobody's happy. To quote uh, 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 Louis C.K., you know, it's like we have all this amazing super technology and everybody's fucking miserable. Mm -hmm. You know, um, at at the cost of of despoiling other other nations and military, yeah. you know, and militarily uh, uh, creating a hegemony. I, I think the groundskeeper was actually being paid to be in the shot too. Like <laughs> he fought for your right to mow that lawn. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Like, those people died so that he'd have the right to mow their grass. Right? Without the dead, he'd have no jobs. Right. right. Appreciate him, too. Appreciate everybody. <laughs> America. I love it. Right. And then, you know, they go on, you know, to say less than 1% of the entire population of the United States serves in the military. So let alone even, even a smaller percentage of that break, you know, unjust laws, fight for reason and fairness and corrupt courts. Uh, but, you know, for the mass majority, you know, the are comfortable. Like, the comfortable middle is where most people are going to be. So, you know, it's like bravery. I mean, I know there's all kinds of bravery. But most Americans just aren't. We're the comfortable middle. You know what I mean? Like, like mm. it's, it, risk versus reward, you know? 
Maybe we are lions that have been tricked into believing we're sheep, though. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they work on you from, from the time your head is soft in kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade, and they, they ran that cult shit in your head for yeah. freaking 12 years. But, uh, okay, next caption. All right, today we honor uh, those who bravely fought to protect our liberties. Again, again, this is just patently false. Uh, you know, who are we specifically talking about? Can you name a single person who, who fought and died for your liberty? Yeah. If, if these soldiers and service members are fighting for your liberties, they wouldn't be overseas. They'd be stomping cops and judges and politicians, you know, to, to leave you the fuck alone. Mm-hmm. But they, they don't. They don't. You don't. You know. You see them cutting grass on a highway sometimes down near Fort uh, Fort whatever that's close by to us. You don't. Yeah. You know. You, <laughs> you don't see. You don't see soldiers going into a courthouse and be like, oh, "Unhand that man." Yeah. You know. So don't. Yeah. Don't tell me that these people.